Amy everybody, she's one of the um, helpers. So which foot did you have for you, if you remember? That one, okay, uh, that one. Hang on, you can't see me, let me go down a bit. That's better. Great, so just think, take a slightly wider stance and you sink forwards and sink back. Well done, mate. Thanks very much. Yeah. We've been stuck in the rain, haven't we? Yeah. And bad. And um, so we just sink forwards and back, nice and tall through the, the body. So, uh, yeah, Amy, Amy teaches, um, she leads a warm up at a month, is it monthly sports thing or weekly? A weekly sports thing on a Saturday. So, uh, brilliant. So we're just sinking forwards and back. And uh, it's raining, isn't it great? Yeah. <laughs> so, for those of you on on Zoom and those of you watching on YouTube after. It's finally raining, so that's all good. Okay, and then change sides. So you want to have your feet in Wu Chi. Oh, I've got somebody else. Admit. Uh, so you want your feet in Wu Chi first, and then sink forwards and sink back. So we're nice and tall. Yeah. And we're all breathing. So we've got one more week. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I don't want anyone having to think too much today. That would be too much really. So yeah, we're going to do easy stuff for the entire class. Brilliant. Because it is quite nice to do complicated things. That's very nice. But it's also nice to do things that are very, very, very easy. And then we, we change sides. Oh. Actually, Amy, I was wondering if you could take the milk upstairs to the tea and coffee bit. Is that all right? And I'll pop the to you. Yeah, Amy remembered it. She's... There's normal and soya. Yeah, thanks Amy. If you ask them, if you're not quite sure where it is, ask at reception, they'll tell you, and they come straight back. Thanks, mate. Oh, it's so nice having a help back. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, so Amy, Amy teaches the Tai Chi every week at a little sport, at a sports thing in Cambridge. It does, it does some basic stuff. Okay, right, now what we're going to do is we're going to change sides again, and we're going to do a turn. So we just do one turn. So we turn to the back foot, and we turn to the front foot. And we turn to the back foot. Turn to the front foot. We turn to the back foot. And we turn to the front foot. We turn to the back foot. And we turn to the front foot. How's that? Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. So nice and tall. And just let your let your shoulders go, let the arms move in a flippy floppy manner. Uh, does anybody know where the keep fit is? Is it still down here or will it be up there? It'll be upstairs, okay. I'll find out if she wants to join keep fit. Um, So we'll, we'll keep breathing, that's it. Okay, now 
change the direction. This one's a bit strange. So it's weird, isn't it? Don't worry, don't tell everybody. Keep breathing some more. Okay, now try doing two turns. Thanks. Try doing two turns per leg. Brilliant. So. So make sure you've got a nice wide base to operate from. So remember your rectangle. So there's a rectangle here. It's going like this. Marvellous. Okay. Right, let's try that little lot on the other side. So I've got the rectangle here, and then the step, and we're going to do just one turn. So turn to one side, turn to the other. Turn to one side, show from the side, turn to the other. Turn to one side, turn to the other. So no badminton. Oh, okay. <coughs> Hear that rain? It's really something's coming down on the roof. Right now, we'll do a few more. One, two, three, and four, and then we we'll try the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you find it tricky down the other way, that's okay. Eight, just relax. Nine and ten. Marvellous. Now two. One, 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 two. Last one falls back. Very nice. Oh. We're all tall through the body. So yeah, we've got next week is me. And then for the next two weeks, I think we've got Carmela one week and Leslie the other or something like that. Because I'm away on my I'm back. I'm not actually on holiday and change because I've got courses on. So <laughs> during my holiday time, which is a bit annoying, but there you go. So we're just doing this. But it means I'll be learning more about Tai Chi, so when I come back, I'll have even more to confuse you with. that be good? And um, that's all good. Okay, let's shake out. I'll just check that... Uh, have I got the correct... Oh. Hang on. Let's try that one. Uh, one, two, one, two. Is that microphone better? Those of you on Zoom, yes, I'm getting the thumbs up. Excellent, I thought so. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, you're wonky today. I'm quite right. So it's not too bad um, in terms of it's cool right down, hasn't it? So let's uh, have a. Did you did you do that one? No. All right, we'll do that one. We'll do that one. And then we'll we'll get on with it because I'd like to I'd like to have a go at um, inspect the horse's mouth, roll back, ward off, double hand push as a little health exercise today because I was thinking about it uh, this morning, so it's fresh. So just... Let's do bounce. Oh. So when you're bouncing, you want to let go in your lower back. You want to let go in your lower back. You want to breathe. 
And then, um, yeah, there's a, there's a keep fit class after this at about quarter past, is it? The keep fit quarter past? Yes. Quarter past, right. So if you, if you fancy coming along to that, we can do that and then we can go home. Yeah, all right. It's really good because uh, you get confused and your legs get all confused, but you're used to that from doing Tai Chi, so it's all fine. So we're bouncing. And we're breathing. Bless you. And then shake. Oh. And bounce. Fantastic. Okay, and we'll just do that one. So relax the shoulders. We'll do this one, and then we'll do Barry's one. So I don't think we've done that one for a while, and it's fun. And I did it the other day, and I thought, oh yes, I forgot. So Barry's starting teaching, I think, from week after next. And I'm hoping to get to some of his, at least online classes, if not some face-to-face -face classes. So have the hands out. Have the hands more out like that. When you're, when you're at the end. So there's just a very slight curve to the arm. It's just something that Mike's been working on in his class. Not having the arms as bendy as normal. So, so out, 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 that's it. Now, when you turn around on the elbow, it's still quite, barbers, still quite, Outwards, yeah. And we're all breathing. Fantastic. Okay, let, let's do this one just to kind of finish things off, and then we'll, we'll do we'll, we'll skip because we've done a lot of the loosening exercises already. Those of um... so transfer the weight and turn. Transfer the weight and turn. We're nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. We're all breathing marvelous. Ah. Fantastic. So like you've got a little very small baby squirrel or something that's just sleeping, so you don't want to disturb it. So, um, yeah, well, I made a new friend at the music festival I was working at over the weekend. One, two, three. And don't, don't go all the way down there. Yeah, Barry's changed it. He, does, he goes all the way down when he does the, the middle bit. But when he does this bit, he just goes like that, like that, and then huh, and doesn't have as much of a... In the olden days, we'd go, go all the way down, but that's quite like hard work. So these days when he's done it, he just goes one, two, three, and it's a lot more um, civilised. You know, it's less effort. So, so what you do is, I'll show you from the diagonal view, we're going forwards. You're going out a bit, but still forward. So you've still got your hands in front. And then you go, huh. Right, shall we do another trial run? Cool, it's just like being at the folk club. This is how the chorus goes. So you do this first, then you do this first, and then, and then, and then there's 50 verses. Excellent, okay, here we go. Ready, go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, lovely, and eight. Marvellous. So, um, yeah. And then here we go. One, two, three, 
two, three, nice. That was 
lovely, really good. Okay, let's do Monkey King Take the Seat and Polishing the Table. And then we'll do... Um, you want to do that one? Oh, well. Okay, due to popular request, we're going to have to do Dragon Serves Teacups, even though you're the only one that likes it. That's fine. We'll do it. We'll do it. No, we'll do it. We'll do it. Due to popular request, everybody's favourite. Amy, can you do this one? Can you, can you do that one? Okay, what I might do is I might, um, then they've got another person to watch. Right, when we do that bit, you can, you can go there and do your thing. Yeah, okay. Try, yeah, try teaching it on the Saturday, it'll give you a really big laugh. But we'll do Monkey King first. So Monkey King takes a seat, you sit your hips back and down, and you counterbalance with the hands, like that. And then you come back up and survey your kingdom. So you want to look a bit regal and a bit like, uh, you are all the king, or equivalent. Here we go, one. Two. Three. Fantastic, okay, let's, let's leave that one. 
Let's do some easy things, as promised. Right, no more asking complicated move. Right, let's do three circles. No, let's do... So we're taking it easy. We're taking it easy. Relax the shoulders more. Let's do one more. Check your posture. Feel the ground under your feet and then we're going to do passing the clouds. Yeah, it was amazing the uh, rain today. I went through a ginormous puddle Actually, lots of ginormous puddles, so it's, it must, that means it must have rained a lot in a short amount of time, isn't it, when you get the big puddles like that? Yeah, yeah. I'd forgotten what rain was like. It's all right. So soften the knees, just nice and soften the knees. Tuning into that quiet, calm space.
nice and relaxed. Pushing in four directions. Here we go. One. That's your turn round.
Okay, and then the other side. So anything that involves shifting the weight gives you a nice uh, workout for balance. Gives you a nice workout for balance. So that's it. So we're nice and relaxed. We want to sing, sing. Feel what's going on. So notice what you're sensing. Notice the breathing. Notice the breath as it comes in. Notice the breath as it comes out. Right crane. Right crane. 
balances on Monday, didn't they? White crane spreads its wings. White crane, whoops. White crane stop concentrating and wobbles a bit, but there we go. White crane. So this is really good for balance. Now, if you find it difficult to stand on one leg comfortably, then what you do is you just stay in cat stance, and that's just as good if you just stay in cat stance. Because that foot stuff's quite a lot to kind of... Oh, let's do a few more of these because they're nice and easy, aren't they? So just breathe in. So regulate the breathing, calm the chi, calm the mind. Now this time transfer the weight, flying birds, down, up, down, relax the shoulders, relax the shoulders, sink, breathe, palm out, palm, palm fingers go towards the front and then the palm is out to the side, so one palm, side, the other palm facing the front. That's it. So that's going out there, and that pointing to the front. So you want one fingers point to this wall. Fingers point to this wall. That's it. And then you come down, and the fingers point to this wall. So there's, let's try one. Look, it's like this. One, two. So, so we were doing something like this last night actually in class, so that's why it was kind of fresh in the mind. I like to teach fresh stuff, you know. It's very good for the shoulder, isn't it? Right, try that the other side. So palm out, so we're the side wall, front wall. Side wall, front wall. So you use the wall to... That's it. And we're breathing and we're relaxing. So... <coughs> When presented with a new movement, relax more. Oh, oh, I've got a new movement to learn. Oh, okay. I can't do it at all. Oh, I'm relaxed. And then it's much easier. And then now we're going to try it like, oh my goodness me. So this is where the useful bit of the brain comes in. Down, up. Down, up. Beautiful. Now just relax the arms more. Make them float, soften, soften the arm, and then, uh oh, ha ha ha! Yeah, it's because I lulled you all into a full sense of security, didn't I? Oh my goodness. And then for fun, you can go, wee! <laughs> you can go down. Marvellous. 
Oh, you're looking amazing. She's great. She's great. Okay, one more time each side. Wasn't that me? Okay, and then. Right, so my current, one of my current top ten moves is Happy Phoenix. I love Happy Phoenix. So we'll do the hands, and then we'll do the feet, and then we'll do the Happy Phoenix, and then we'd better do what I wanted to do, which is that one a few times, and then we'd better go and have a cup of tea. We'd better go and have a cup of tea. Oh, hi Lisa. Yes, yeah, sneaking without me noticing. Brilliant. Fantastic. We, you'll have to, we'll, we'll go and have, we're having a tea break in about seven minutes. Because we can't be late for tea, otherwise I get told off, don't I? Yeah. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do Happy Phoenix. Because it's fun. So you have the hands, like imagine a beautiful flower. You've got a lovely, beautiful flower, any colours you like. And then we go out to the corners. And then you can come every week, Lisa, I don't mind. And then you come out. That's it. So that's the hands. That's what the arms are doing. That's what they're doing. And we're all nice and tall. We've all got good posture. Have we? That's it. Oh, that's it. And we're, we're relaxing the shoulders. We're relaxing the shoulders. So we've been, just to remind everyone, we've been working on balancing exercises and standing on one leg for fun, haven't we? My fun. That's great. So that was the... And then, this is a very happy phoenix. And because it's so happy, it kicks its leg. Whoops. And then you, and you kick your leg and try and feel, try and get in touch with your inner jolliness. You know, oops. Yeah, my, this side's not working today. I've been doing DIY, but I've been helping my friend do DIY. Don't kick too hard. I mean, you can show off. And then, um, or you can, yeah, Amy can kick quite high now, can't you? Yeah. <coughs> Okay, now we go down like a spring, and then we go, we go down, and if it helps, you can think the word happy when you do this. Happy, you can even say it. Give it a go. Ready? Happy. And happy. It does work, doesn't it? Don't you feel much happy? And one more time. So, you know, next time you're in weight rows, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. It's all really good. Did you get your laundry in or did it get wet? No, it got wet in the rain. You know, and then and no one, everyone will look, you know, they won't look at you like you're weird at all. It's fine. So that was Happy Phoenix. Okay, for fun, demonstration. Inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off. So I wanted to do some movements from the form today. Double hand. That wasn't too complicated today, was it? No. Good, I'll pay you later. This is. Right, I'll, I'll show it from the side. So what you want, have your left foot forward. And I will do my right foot forward. Because the problem is, if I go the same way, you can't see none of what my hands are doing. Because all you'll see is my back going forwards and back. That's not going to be much good. So I'll show it from the diagonal view, and you'll just have to do the math. So you, like this. So right hand on top, left hand underneath, and then we go inspect the horse's mouth. Oh, roll back, marvelous. Ward off. Sink back. Double handed push. We'll do that three times because I've I've been waffling too much. Running out. That was very, very good warming up from Amy earlier, wasn't it? She was very good. So double handed push. And then once more for fun, that's it. And we're nice and relaxed. So you want to feel that your whole body's connected, that you're moving from a very quiet, calm place. That's beautiful, everybody. 
and then double handed. And that was so good, we're going to do it with the other foot forward. So put your right foot forward, and I'll try it like that, and then I'll mirror. So here we go. Respect the horse's mouth, roll the back, ward off. So when you get something a little bit more complicated, remember, relax, it's okay. There we go, and we're just, oh, marvellous. We're just doing that. And sink forward. Sink back. Sink forward. Sink back. Sink forward. I've lost count, so let's do one more. <coughs> Good effort, everybody. You all look amazing. Yeah, Zoomies are fantastic. Roomies are fantastic. This is all good. This is all good. We're all, yeah, we're in the zone. Right, one more time. That's great. But if we had silk pajamas <coughs> on, if we had the silk suits on, we could be in the display team easy. You know. This bit. Right, for our grand finale, we're going to do a little bit of part of the Wild Horses' main walking exercise. I will turn this round so it will be like the Blair Witch Project for the... Sorry, and we're on the slope. Yeah, sorry, you'll just have to be on the slope. Sorry about that. Come up like that, make a fist. 
So this is the last move of the Fragrant Buddha Qigong set. That I learned from Mark Peters, and that's also one of my top ten moves. So, you know. And then embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. So here we go. So really arrive, really arrive into your feet. Good posture, good alignment, connect through the whole body. Feel that the whole body is connected. Okay, let's look super young today. So rub your hands together and polish the face. And then rub the hands together. That is the best bit, isn't it? Oh, I wish you'd have just done this for the whole class. Really good. Okay, and then embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. Right, you better run upstairs for the tea so we're not all gone. Sorry about that. Try not to spill the tea all over the nice dark studio. Okay, posture check. Are we owning our space? Very good. Make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together and bow. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. That's amazing. Well done. Good job, you two. Um, fantastic. Yeah.